I needed to get inside the manuscript. months after Ellen died. I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened by the confusion, the shock, the, the guilt, fear. I could barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in. Alice's work had consumed the apartment. Her whole life. animal and I looked out at the street below and I saw a little girl crying like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world it was the perfect image of the horror of caring and that's when I got myself out of bed and I picked up my camera shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that... that vast, paralyzing ocean. But photography... can freeze reality in a snapshot, and put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there.
manuscript of a novel. Return. A horror story about the Dark Presence escaping from the Dark Place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out, people would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in. Try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. The memory of my edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Zane had said we worked on Return together. That was a lie. Scratch wrote Return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. I don't have time for this, so let's get it over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you, but we can stop pretending now. Uh, masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think you know who's under your mask, but you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules, endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky, you know. There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. Myself. Your wife. Alice. I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. Because of you. And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. You keep opening doors, peeking in, 
reaching through to get what you want, and that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. The next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wig. Whatever you say. Door, Zane, the masks were finally coming off. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste. At the end of the tunnel. Huma, <laughs> lauta, that held you close, Tom. Ei muuta on vaan set the granny in the snow. When the panic is biggest, the help is also near. I couldn't get in. I was missing something. Or didn't seem happy to see me this time. Hearing the master is the root of wisdom. But don't let the game get you down. He's playing his role. Maybe put him in your films, Tom. Like you have put me. <laughs> what films? <laughs> I'm a fan of your masterworks. Uh, there is Dom the Poet, my favorite, and Uerden Uer is the most famous one, of course. And is it true what I hear, that it's coming back to cinema soon? Is there a bottom to this rumor? I need to get back to my apartment. Can you help me? Well, plan is half done. You asked me to make sure you won't forget the... the... Mikä se valokuva oli? The light pictures. The photos you artist wife took. Uh, they are waiting in the shoe box in the basement. What you leave behind, you find in front of you. Okay. Thanks, Adi.
To get to Parliament Tower, I needed to find a murder site. Zane would know where to find one. Zane's room, 665, was upstairs. The elevator would take me down. Something told me Zane wouldn't be happy to see me this time. I'm in control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head! Scratch wrote return, not me! You're a fucking liar! You'd given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous, that, that we didn't deserve to get out. And then he showed up. Scratch. He promised to write. To get me the hell out of here. He was magnificent. A visionary. Turn and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. But you can still catch him before he gets out, before he gets to your wife. And when you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site in my cinema. Where my film Nightless Night is playing. I told you not to try anything. have gone missing beyond the labyrinth of me when you're lost you're lost in your own company and cut oh. now 
that is drama. What the fuck? I had a million questions about Zane, but I had more press. I had to find the movie theater Poet Cinema. The next movie site was there. Zane had created the film in tandem with Return to escape the dark place. I could see the searchlight beams of the movie theater on the far side of the plaza. was a gateway to other realities on the silver screen. I could set a scene here.
case looking for the cult of the word for a lifetime or more the only case i'd ever been on they would surface from the dark with their depraved acts of violence and fade back into the night leaving behind bloody crime scenes and clues heavy with obscure meanings that led nowhere arriving at the cinema i felt them monumental terrifying revelation trembling before me ready to open its jaws and swallow me whole this place had significance to the cult there was something to use there First step toward the murder site, I was making progress. I was missing something. Someone had barricaded themselves in the room. ceremony, or so we made our new members believe. Two of New York's finest, they had performed endless favors to earn their place among us. We had something special waiting for them, and something very special for you, Alex Casey. Who's your leader? Alan Wake? Hmm? Scratch? Zane? Give me a name! You will meet him soon enough. There was no end to the corruption. It fit the genre, so I'd use it.
circling Thomas Zane were a bottomless rabbit hole. I'd done some digging. To film freaks, he was a mythic auteur in the art house cinema, a rising star coming to America from Finland. But he only created one film, Tom the Poet, before he went missing. Legends circling Thomas Zane were a bottomless rabbit hole. I'd done some digging. To film freaks, he was a mythic auteur in the art house cinema, a rising star coming to America from Finland. But he only created one film, Tom the Poet, before he went missing, mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie played by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film, an early work made in Finland, Nightless Night, rumored to have mystic properties. Some claimed it was a snuff film, that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. There were no known surviving copies, but the cult chased it as if it were their unholy grail just like Wake's books were. I changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. It was locked from the other side.
master into La La Land. It's you, following your master into La La Land. A sad bunch of clowns in funny masks and hoods, pretending to be a secret society. Well, maybe it is you who's playing a role, Mr. Casey. A role carefully laid out for you. The puppet blindly performing the ritual steps for the glory of the cult. Huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? Nightless night. A clip of the lost film survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the nightless night, you will finally see. Nightless night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story. Zane was in the clip holding my lamp. Was he playing me in his film? Zane's lamp on the screen had no light. I could transfer the light in my lamp to his. Good scene for dark deeds. I had to keep working on the story. In the city trapped in eternal night, 
They watch the film where the night never arrives, where the night hides in your mind. Someone had fallen to their death from the rooftop. this initiation, do you? Nah. I'm sure we'll just chant some ceremonial stuff. N nothing to it. Well, it's about time. We paid our dues. Made plenty of their problems disappear. Dumped all those nobodies down that chute. What we did or didn't do, it's all behind us now. We're going straight to the top, partner. Yep, like we died and went to heaven. Straight to the top. The dirty cops looked down to the city. Their city. They had committed repulsive deeds to get there. Me, Mr. Casey, I'm all yours. Go ahead. 
Ask that burning question in your mind. How did you do it? How did you get me into that film clip without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed. Where he will project a new reality onto this one. And now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. No, no, no! Crazy bastard! Why did he jump? The projection booth. Was that where I find the murder site? myself in a maze of film equipment. There had to be a way to the projection booth from here. I wasn't alone. 
I'm here, you son of a bitch. Show yourself, the grand master of my ass. You're a clown in a mask. I was back where I started. A loop within a loop. I had to keep going. I'm here, you son of a bitch! Show yourself! Who, who was it? Who said that? The grand mask of my ass. You're a clown in a mask. I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron! The Casey in the story was losing it. I wasn't far behind. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going, find a way to the murder site. I'm here, you son of Hello? a bitch. Hey! Show yourself! Who, who was that? Who said that? That's a real... It's gone. But I saw someone. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going, find a way to the murder site. I'm here, you son of a bitch! Show yourself! Who, who was that? Who Shut said up. that? That's a real shot! Who's there? Oh, you got the wrong guy. I'm not Alex Casey. I only play him in the movies. He's just a fictional character. What, what? What's going on here? You don't have to kill me. You don't have to go get that knife and stab me. You can just give up and go back. Forget about the ritual sacrifice to open the way forward. The ritual sacrifice to open the way? No. <laughs> don't do it. You don't have to become a monster. Just leave the knife where it is. In the back, 
and go. A knife in the back? Everything about this was absurd. Our dialogue forced and ridiculous. In desperate need of another pass. But I'd play along to see where it took me. Let's forget about the knife. Don't, don't go looking for the knife. There is no knife. makes any sense is in your psychotic brain as a fictional character in the story you fulfilled your purpose you brought the writer of the story here you can go now Casey no, no, no I'm not going anywhere before I get some answers how was I in that movie how, why does all this feel so familiar what who the fuck are you who the fuck am I no and welcome to you, Alan Wake. What the hell? This is the ritual to lead you on. We are just one step away from your final destination, Mr. Wake. But first, here is an unanswered mystery for you. If Casey was fictional, and you assumed his role as the detective, are you now fictional too? Whose story are you living, Mr. Wake? The visions are getting under my skin, coming too close for comfort. Not a separate layer, but mingling with my own reality in the dark place. Wait. Dead end. This can't be right. Did I miss something? traveling deeper into the dark place. The poem on the wall was growing at the same pace, dogging my footsteps, like my unwanted shadow moving in the corner of my eye. It wasn't my writing. I didn't know what it was. A terrible prophecy. A curse looming over me. This is how I could help her. Saga Anderson, listen. I I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? I mean, with Scratch. I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? 
Yes, whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. Did we have in the horror story? I was closer now. Closer than ever before. But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. Parliament Tower. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. of this nightmare, but I damn well try. This case would never be closed. I had more questions now than at the start. The irony of being trapped in a postmodern detective story. I felt watched. The eyes of some unseen audience on me. I wanted to turn to the hidden camera and tell them to fuck off. But I didn't know where to look to break the fourth wall. There would always be another case for Casey. A million stories in this dark city. The night opened up to welcome me. I walked into her arms. Roll credits. A film that was a ritual. Literal movie magic, in a theater that hailed from a time when there was still magic in the silver screen.
Condemned. Closed up. Something was wrong. Something was missing. I had to get inside. either. Huh? You're me? Me? I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand. A dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. And that is by your own choice. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. You need to go back to the talk show studio basement. Get Alice's photos from a shoebox there. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put the photos into the shoebox at her statue at the plaza. To help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? How many writers does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. It's the same writer, but in a different point in time. I follow the steps he laid out for me. Alice's photo from the talk show building basement. I had to go back to get them. I bring the photos to the shoebox by the statue. Alice's photos. I recognize the style. One showed the clicker sinking into darkness. The other showed a light in the shape of a bullet. I need to get them to the plaza. photos now. I needed to put them into the shoebox by the statue. 